Hello, Riverside family. I want to greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, this is a good day. And you know it's good to be alive today, isn't it? It's even better to be an American today in the United States, glory to God. But most of all, what a blessing it is to be a child of the Most High God. I've got some really good news for you. On my way to the office this morning, the Lord reassured me that Jesus is still on the throne. Praise God. You know, there's something that the Apostle Paul gives to us in uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. And in that passage, he says to us, set your mind on things above, not on things below. Well, you see, that if there's ever a time for this church, for us as the covenant people of God, to take that to heart, this is it, isn't it? For everywhere we look, we're hearing about this horrible, dread disease of coronavirus. And now that has created all kinds of economic havoc. But people, I assure you that Jesus is still on the throne. Praise God. Now, I'm sure most of you have seen already the announcement that I made on the Riverside living room yesterday. Uh, we're going to take a two-week uh, sabbatical. So next Sunday, that's March the 22nd and March the 29th, so the next couple of weeks, we're not going to have corporate worship service, but we're going to have church. They say, now wait a minute, wait a minute, Pastor. If we're not going to have worship service, how can we have church? Well, we are the church. We can meet out under a shade tree and still be the church, can't we? But what we're going to have is we're going to have available to you a teaching just similar to this that's going to be available to you Sunday morning. So you can go on YouTube or on the living room family room and you can, you can watch and receive the good word of the Lord. So I certainly invite you to come and join us on that particular uh, venue. Now, I want to take just a moment here to ask you to do four things. Now, I'm speaking to you as a pastor now. So there's four things that I'd like for you to do. Number one, most important, spend quality time every single day in the presence of the Lord. Now, of course, that means prayer, doesn't it? It means meditation. But don't forget, prayer is more than just talking to God. It's listening to the Lord. So spend time in His presence, and I know that that'll be a rich time for you. Here's the second thing I'd like for you to do. I want you to open your Bibles once a day at least, and I want you to read Psalms 91 and then go back through and take the promises that you see there, and you make declarations. You decree those things in faith. And make sure that you know that when those words go forth out of your mouth, those are not your words. Those are the words of the Lord. Amen and amen. Here's the third thing. Now I want you to remind yourself constantly, particularly as you hear what's going on around you. I want you to remind yourself that you have not been given a spirit of fear. You're going to rise above that fear. We're going to go through whatever fires are necessary. We're going to go, as Isaiah said, through the rivers, and they're not even going to overflow us. Remember, you have a covenant with Almighty God. Now, here is the fourth thing that I want you to do. Now, listen carefully. I want you to take your telephone directory for Riverside Church, and I want you to let the Holy Spirit show you who in that directory you are to call that very day. Just make a quick phone call, just a little word of encouragement. Pray with them if you need to or you want to. Ask them if there are prayer requests. But let's stay in touch. See, that's what family members do. So we're not going to allow distance to keep us apart from one another. Now here's, I'd like you to do this with me. I want you to just join yourselves in prayer. And let's just pray right now and seek the face of the Lord together. Amen. Now, Father, it's in the name of Jesus that we come before you. We want to tell you that we love you. We want to tell you that we're thankful 
for all the good things that you've done for us. In fact, we rejoice in your goodness toward us. Lord, we stand on your word, and it lifts us up. And with that, we declare that just as your word tells us that in the day of trouble, you hear our cries and you hear our prayers, and we thank you for that. Now concerning the virus and this enemy that we are facing, we declare glory in the name of Jesus. We declare victory in the name of Jesus. We are overcomers in the name of Jesus. And we decree that this will not come near our dwellings. For the dwellings that we live in have been applied the blood of Jesus, just as the Israelites applied the blood to their doorpost, and the death angel passed them by. Lord, we celebrate the good things that you are doing. And we choose to rest in your love and rest in your power. Oh, and it's in the precious name of the Lord Jesus that we pray these things. Say amen and amen with me. Now, Pastor Kay and I want you to know that we love you. We're here for you. You're not separated from us in any way. If we can help in any way, any assistance that you need, I want you to call us. We're here and we're more than happy to be of, of help and assistance to you. So I bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit to rise up strong in the power of God's might. Oh, and remember, rejoice that your names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I say amen and amen. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.